Good morning, Eastsiders. Welcome to the last week of Advent. I uh, hope you're looking forward to this week as much as we are. Uh, we're so thankful. Had a wonderful day of worship yesterday. Thanks for your part in that. Got a couple of families traveling. Please remember them in your prayers and pray for each other each and every day. Today we're going to start discussing witnesses in Scripture, and we're going to go to one of the first places where the Bible talks to us about witnesses in Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy, as God's laying out the law for the people of Israel, there's a level at which you require witnesses. Deuteronomy 19.15 says, One witness is not enough to, con to convict a man accused of any crime or offense he may have committed. A matter must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. The first thing I thought when I heard that is one person is a lot less likely to be used by God to lead someone to Christ. If you're witnessing to who Jesus is and what Jesus did, that needs to be established by a church by a body, by a group. And so you're not a lone ranger out there on your own. You are part of the world light, worldwide body of Christ. And your job is to encourage people to be part of that fellowship and those experiences because in that community they will truly see, as Paul says in Ephesians, the height and depth and breadth and width of the love of God. Together we find out about God, and together we share God. So today, be part of the work of the church, praying for and loving people who need to know Christ, and encouraging them to be part of God's work among us. We love you. Have a wonderful day.